I wish I knew how to relax. I wish I knew how to discipline my kids. I would like to learn to save money a little better. I wish they would look at me and smile and say, yes, mommy. I wish I was more confident not to avoid conflict, spend more time with my family, and have a better work-life balance. I wish I knew how to find my ultimate dream job. I would love to have somebody help me manage my hours and figure out how to make the most of my time so I can be successful in my business. I wish I could find a date. As I mentioned in Chatelaine Magazine this month, it's, it's a how-to guide to everything. So please welcome the Editor-in-Chief, Kareen Ewart, joining us today. What's inside? So I love that we do this. It's our chance to sort of take a look at what is happening inside the magazine. And it was actually my favorite part um, of the magazine, all of the how-tos. It's how to keep the men in line, how to save time, how to win an argument. So how to keep the men in line, I'll be clear. It's a, it's a female referee in the NBA talking about it, and she gives really good tips. But let's start, since we've spent so much time on City Line talking about work-life balance and people being stressed out, let's start with how to save time. Yeah, we came up with a lot of great tips for this. We had to edit down for space, so there's a lot more on the website as well, just as an FYI. Okay. Uh, so you want to think about your day and of course be as organized as possible. So it's starting at morning, noon and night. Mm -hmm. So the best tip that I found in this issue to be honest with you is something called eating the frog. And I'm, it's not my favorite term, so I'm actually thinking I'm going to change it to kissing the frog. Okay. So kissing the frog is actually picking the one thing you have to do that day, that one thing you don't want to do and you put it at the bottom of the list put it to the top of the list. Get it over with first because research shows that you actually will procrastinate by doing odd jobs, other things, wasting time until you actually get to that task. So kiss the frog and get it over with first. That is interesting. We use that philosophy at dinner time. Do you eat yeah, the... Yeah, well we say to the kids, just eat the veggies first. first and get it just over with. Just get it over with. Exactly. Get it out of the way. And I know that's bad to talk about food that way, but quite frankly they're five and three and I need to get the veggies in them. Well now you so. can tell them to kiss the frog. Now I'm going to say kiss the frog with <laughs> yeah. that broccoli. Another Very tip cool. they have is the morning tip. You know, if you're yeah. not a morning person, I am not. Yeah. Have everything, of course, you know, you hear about putting your clothes out the night before, having your kids do oh, it the same. Sure. This is actually about your morning prep. You know, as a woman, I get up, I do the same makeup every single day, but I have a whole bunch of other things in the way. So just really have on your table only what you need to get ready in the morning and push all the other stuff away. And it will actually sa shave a few minutes off of your morning routine. The other thing I saw in here was how to uh, shave down your inbox. A lot of people get on email and they get really distracted uh, really quickly. So uh, this woman was saying that she goes, she goes through, deletes everything she needs to delete, um, flags everything that she can deal with at a later date, and only deals with the stuff that is pressing right away. And that's how she's able to keep on top of things, well, right? And the other thing, uh, another tip when it comes to that is not checking your email all the time. You right. hear the little noise and you instantly go to look, but actually really train yourself to only look when you have the time to actually organize it. Right. Okay. How to win an argument. Let's talk about this. This is Kathleen Wynn, the premier, uh, weighed in on this one. I thought her points were great. She had really good points. And I will still go back to my father's advice to me, which is never argue unless you are 100% sure you are correct. Right? Because if you don't have that conviction, you're not going to win that argument. So Premier Wynn also had some really good tips, mostly about listening yes. and not allowing you, uh, your point of view to waver. Really stay convicted. Right, and she also said, as the premier, a lot of people look at her to be the one to say yes or no, which, of course, eventually she's going to do, but really, she wants to hear every single opinion. She doesn't just want to weigh in without having some kind of consensus, which is very Canadian of her, but Definitely. it's also a good way, it's a good way to come to some kind of a decision. And then you can say, listen, I know you disagree, but we're going to do this anyway. And, and at respectful. Least, yes, everyone has been heard. Very Definitely. cool. Uh, two sides. So you've got the rhubarb pie, pie on one side, and you've got this on the other side. Beautiful, tear-jerking stories here about women really coming to terms with who they are as well. I loved that section of the magazine. It's a fantastic section that we did uh, in partnership with Dove. And I just want to remind everybody that our tablet version, you can actually upload a photo of yourself onto the cover of Chatelaine. So it's a really special thing that we're doing this That's month. That's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, okay, well, excited. today's audience will take home a copy of the May issue of Chatelaine.